Stop settling for a slow backup option at home or for expensive cloud fees. This is the Link Station N2 and it's not just a NAS, it's a compact 24-7 server with 10 gigabit Ethernet and 6 total drive base. So this thing could handle a huge Plex library or as I will use it, make it a part of your full speed video editing flow. Since I'm doing a lot of camera comparisons, I have a lot of data which is filling up my clouds. Until now, I mostly relied on portable SSDs, but having a NAS like this could really up my game and yours as well. Let's get to the unboxing. Sliding up perfectly. box itself and here we have the on rate license it comes with a license for one year just switch it off we have a quick start guide and a user manual cells in the box got the power cable and the power brick the screwdriver and some screws but now to the main part of course the system itself the link plus n2 here down we have the place where we can fit the drives see also here terminal paste i actually got a new one for this unit it is a wd red four terabyte SN700. On the back we have all the ports we need. We got the Audi port here, the HDMI port, a USB 3.2 port and two USB 2.0 ports, the Ethernet port and of course the power. So let's just start to connect it now to my Mac. So let's start now to install the SSDs. Let's start with the Samsung SSD here. Let me just open up here and then we will take out one of those trace and there we will put in this and then put the tray in and we can close the flap also again and the SSD is now in here now for my WD red it is a WD red SM700 it costs around three to four not euros Open now here. There we have it. And it's in. And by the way, don't forget to remove the, the protective film from the terminal pad. Close the tray here. So cap back on. And here we are. Good to go. Now it's time to connect the system. Have the Ethernet cable here. And the power cord, of course, which goes in here. So I booted it on now from here and then the lights are blinking. It will take some minutes now for it to get started. And when the lights stop blinking, we will open our browser and type in tower.local. And then we can see we are on the login page. We will set a new password now, which is not recoverable. So be careful with this. Save it here or even better in your password app. First of all, we can start a free 30 day trial for Unraid. We have the one year activation key with the purchase of the Link Plus. But why waste 30 days if you can get them for free on top? So let's activate this. We can sign in with our social account or we can create a new account here, which is something I will do now here. And now we can confirm it that we want to start the 30 days trial. Trial key installed successfully. Trial key expires in 29 days. 23 hours and four minutes. Where are my 56 minutes? So we have the dashboard here that we can see some information. We have main shares, user settings, plugins, Docker, VMS, apps, and tools. 
before we do anything, let's one time update the OS. So we have multiple stable versions here, like on RAID 7.14. We can view the change log. Continue update on tower. I'll we'll just take the most recent one. The current version is 6.1215. Now we go to the newest one. So confirm and start the update. And then we click on done and it will get updated. So first of all, also it's recommended to change your time zone, also according to where you live, which is Germany for me. I'll do it a little bit different since I'm just using SSDs and from my knowledge, using just SSDs in on-rate, it is not recommended to use an SSD as a parity device. So we'll add a pool, we we'll give it a name. And since I have two SSDs in there, I will put two slots. And then we will add both disks to the slots here. Now we'll click on one of the disks here and go to the file system type to ZFS and click apply. Done. Then we'll simply click on start, unmountable disk present so there will come an error that we need to one time format them so we have to do this click on format and then of course everything will be deleted but hopefully we did a backup did we the operation has started link up the shares here we have four shares want to move over to users add a user now let's go to share, add share, share name plus, now here we have to click on export yes and click on apply, now it's one time open the finder and now we can access here our NAS, you can of course add different folders for whatever you want to have. and can stream all your legal content. We also have apps here. This one time install the plugin. And done, they are all third party additions to Unraid. So there's a little disclaimer just for us to know. So while we take a look here, we have quite some options. Looking down at here, displaying one to 12 of 2,764 apps. So you can spend a lot of time here to find whatever is useful for you. So there you have it. It was actually not that difficult to install this. Also, for me, who never set up a NAS himself, there are different ways probably to do it. I read a lot of stuff online, also watch other tutorials, and I can access my files now easily. Also, simply via my phone. So. You can easily access your all data, which you put on the NAS via the cloud. It is your own cloud storage in this way, which is really good for me since I'm working with a lot of files. My usual content, the camera comparisons for the smartphones tend to have between 16 to 20 gigabytes of files. I always take a lot of pictures and videos for my camera comparisons and to store them I usually just used portable SSDs which are fine but to have this kind of backup option is really great. You can get the LinkStation N2 for 450 euro currently, they also have a coupon code available if you want to save some more money. Check out the link in the description. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like it leave a thumbs up, a sub to the channel would be great. And I will see you in the next one.